welcome to the Inspiring Inkins Facebook page. I'm Amanda Fowler, it's Thursday the 12th of November. Welcome, we are talking about crochet today. So if you're here, can you leave me a message, send me some hearts, I'll check as always <laughs> that I'm live where I should be because you can never quite tell. Yeah, it looks like I am. With, with, with sound and everything. Excellent. Excellent. Do you like my shirt? It's got a new shirt look. Very cool. Oh, right. So let's just... Uh, grab all of my things we're like i said we're, we're talking all about crochet today um so i'm going to go through everything in a minute oh no <laughs> i've just <laughs> oops i've just pressed a button on my on my ipad and put an angry face up on the screen <laughs> Oh dear, I'll take that off later. I'm not really angry. I'm really happy to be here. Okay, so who's here? Sue's here. Gordy's here. Nicola's here. Maureen's here. And Stella's here as well. Fantastic. How are we doing? I should have put a cardigan on actually. I'm a bit chilly today. How are we doing? How are we doing? My little radiator's on. I think I'll turn it up actually. Right. Hello. Angela and Chris have arrived from their ongoing staycation. <laughs> and Gordy's saying hello as well. And Chris still is saying hello as well. Awesome. Brilliant. Okay, so we are on week two of my crochet along. Now, if you are watching this video and you haven't seen any other videos of mine or any other of my crochet videos, I kind of explain what's going on. So I am a paper crafter, rubber stamper, that's my business and my passion, but I also crochet and I started crocheting at the beginning of this year and I love it and I know lots of my lovely customers and friends love it too or they might be thinking that they want something to do. So since here in uh, the UK, we are in a lockdown number two, I thought it'd be a bit of fun to design a scarf, or which I've never done before, and teach everybody how to crochet. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a really good idea, and actually it really does seem like a good idea here because lots and lots of you are joining in with me and it's fab. So there are a few things for you to know. Um, the downloadable PDFs will um, appear in Facebook and on my blog a bit later uh, today. Um, I'll get them, get them up as quickly as I can for you. And you'll be able to see there the previous week's PDFs as well. Um, at the end of the four weeks, so this is just going on during November, at the end of the four weeks, the complete scarf pattern in a single PDF will be available. So you'll be able to download that and obviously not have four different bits. Um, I am not a crochet expert. I am teaching everybody the way I do it, which might not be the same as the way you do it. Um, hopefully you will be able to understand <laughs> what I'm talking about if you are an experienced crocheter um, but I don't think there's any real right or wrong ways but I do it my way because that's the way I know so <laughs> that's why I do that so if you've got any questions let me know I'm going to do a quick recap of what happened last week and um, go over a couple of things that have kind of come up since then but first I am going to have a slurp of my coffee and the 
double check the messages. Coffee's too hot. Okay. I'm so used to drinking coffee that's cold because it's always cold. Right, let's have a look. So Janet's arrived. Oh, Gordy's in North Carolina. Welcome, welcome from across the pond. It's nine o'clock for you in the morning. That's good. Sue's here. Cindy's here. Sheridan's here. Sheridan's in Wales, so she's saying hello from Wales. <laughs> I've distracted Amanda from her ironing. Yeah, you know my feelings on ironing. Ironing should be banned. Just not a good thing. All you need to... <laughs> I just I nearly said all you need to buy a husband that does ironing. No, you need to get yourself a husband that does ironing. So that's what I have. So he does his own ironing and I don't iron anything. Um, Pat's here and my mum's here. Amanda's saying crochet's the best. Afternoon mum. Oh, Amanda's saying it's really good therapy if you suffer from anxiety as well. Crochet, that's really good. And Rosie's crocheting at the moment and Sue Cook is here as well. Awesome. So please do um, share this video. So where you go to write a comment, um, there's a, a share button. If you could share the video, that'd be awesome. It just means that I get to um, reach more people, which is always, always a good thing. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube or on my blog, you can send links um, for that as well. Okay, so, so far, if you've completed week one, and I know not everyone has completed week one, and if you haven't, don't worry, you've got plenty of time to keep going. So if you've uh, completed week one, you will have, ignore the tassels, but you will have this much of a scarf. There's 50 rows. So we've learned how to chain, how to do double crochet, how to do treble crochet, how to do half treble crochet, and also make holes on purpose. Now, a few people have had a few struggles with the holes on purpose. So um, I have done a bit of research about this. And one of the things that um, I do, and you'll see on my pattern, is at the end of every row, I chain one and then turn my work. And that chain one stitch doesn't count as anything. It just helps keep your edges neat. So it could be that that's getting pulled a bit tight. It could be that as you're crocheting along, you're also, um, your tension is, is getting um, tighter. So um, what you can do for these holes is go up half a millimetre or a millimetre, go up a hook size, um, uh, or just try and, and um, make sure that your wool's relaxed and your hands are relaxed and you're not worrying about it because that's the thing that I've really learned with crochet. If I'm stressed, my work gets narrower and narrower and narrower because I'm pulling on the yarn and I kind of get white knuckles. <laughs> and I, so I can see if I'm pulling it too tight. So, so try those things. But at the end of the day, this is a handmade thing. You're making it with love. And like us, if it's a bit lumpy bumpy, a bit wibbly wobbly, it's perfect. Don't worry, it will be fine, okay? And I know you do, people do worry about things, um, but just keep practicing as well, is the other thing I would say. Just pull it out and go again. So who else is here? Anne's here, Nancy's here. Janet saying she agrees crocheting is very therapeutic and rewarding. And saying hi everybody and hi to me too. Thank you, Janet. 
and Tara's here as well. Awesome. Okay, so we've done 50 rows. This next section we're doing 37 rows. So we're doing less, but we're going to have a bit, bit of fun with this. So I'm going to show you the next bit that we're doing. So, <coughs> oh, <coughs> don't worry about my cough. I'm fine. I've been tested. <laughs> I know some of you were worried um, last week and on Tuesday because I've got a bit of a tickly cough. I'm fine. I'm tested. I'm all good. Right. So, <laughs> honestly, what, we do worry about these things, don't we? But yeah, don't worry about me. I'm good. Um, right. So we are going to be making bubbles. And I love bubbles and um, these are so cool and they're so easy you're going to be putting bubbles on everything um, and then we are going to be doing this stitch here now this is a it's a fairly new stitch to me actually um, it's called lemon peel and it's quite quite bouncy and um, it's it's quite solid it, I'm saying it's solid it's not because you can still see that there are holes through it but when you compare it when you compare it like this let's see if I can do that when you compare it to the half treble which is really quite lacy and open it actually does look a bit more solid okay um so yeah so that's what that's what we're going to do for the next the next 38 rows now um before i turn the camera around and and we start crocheting i want to talk to you about bubbles so there are all sorts of bubbles and there are all sorts of different ways that you can make bubbles these are my bubbles and this is the way i make my bubbles <laughs> that sounds ridiculous this is the way i make my bubbles um, so, the, the different ways of making bubbles are to do with how many stitches you put in and how you fasten them off. So there are bubbles, there are popcorn stitches, there are puff stitches. There's a huge number of different ways of doing different things. So just be aware that these are Amanda's bubbles. Okay. But the technique is pretty much the same for all bubbles. So there you go. So does anyone have any questions before I get started? Um, and can you all hear me okay? I've got my microphone in and everything. So let me know if... Um, if you're all good okay right so I'm gonna move my iPad out of the way Ooh. and use that oh no right I'm going to turn the camera around so just hold on a second whilst I do that oh Okay, right. What I am going to do, just bear with me a second, is I'm just going to move the camera down a bit. Um, I have, the camera has to be a certain height so you can actually get my face in. <laughs> so I lower it down for when I'm crocheting because then you can get to see a bit better. Okay. So, um, the first thing <laughs> that I need to talk to you about is the amount of yarn I told you to pull off your, your ball 
before you started your uh, scarf if you have like this yarn which is a, a colour changing yarn. Um, I didn't tell you to pull off enough so don't worry I have a plan um, but my maths is completely wrong. <laughs> so um, I will, it, it will be, it, there won't, blah, my words are not coming out. Um, it won't be a problem, we'll get it sorted out, but there isn't enough yarn there to make tassels. Um, so we're, we're going to do something else and that's fine. So that's okay. Um, also in kind of your arsenal of things that are really useful, getting a, a darning needle with a large hole is a really good plan. Get one that doesn't have a sharp end though because it kind of splits the yarn. Um, so get a kind of rounded end one. And then here is an awesome tip for you. If like me, <laughs> you may have more than one project going on at a time and you then run away with the hook because you're thinking you need that size hook for something else and then you come back to this and you can't remember what hook size you were using piece of cardstock with a peg um, and you know I use these in my paper crafting all the time pin it to your work so you then know exactly what hook size you need next and then this is another thing that is is useful um, it's a stitch marker um, I use it just to um, stick at the end of my work um, when I walk away from it so that I don't pick it up and pull it yeah because otherwise that that happens quite a lot okay so what we're going to do to start off with is um, I am just going to remind you how to do the two stitches that we are going to be working on today okay so this this is the end of a row and let me just double check my stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nine twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three phew <laughs> always check Right, so let me wrap my yarn. So chain one and turn. And we do that always. So um, we're going to be using two different stitches today. We're going to be using double crochet um, and treble. So for my North American friends, that's single crochet and double. So a double crochet is you take your hook, you put it in under the stitches. Okay, let me just show you. So there's my little V. And let me see if I can pull that out. And the hook is going underneath, yarn round the hook, pull through. You've got two loops on your hook, yarn round and pull through. Okay, so that is a double crochet. A treble is yarn round the hook, underneath your V, yarn round the hook again. You've got three loops on your hook. Yarn round the hook, pull through two. Yarn round the hook, pull through two. And that's a treble. 
okay so I'm just going to pull that back out and we are going to make our bubbles so in the instructions you've got this information here which says a bubble is a 4TR bubble so it's a 4 treble bubble, bubble. <laughs> so what in order to make the treble uh, no, in order to make the bubble we're going to do four trebles one after the other and we're going to keep all the loops on the hook and then pull through at the end sounds much more complicated than it is and um yeah we'll just go through i'll go through and stitch it so before so we're, this is row 51 so you do a double crochet in the first stitch and then you make a bubble into the next stitch and then you keep repeating so you do a double a bubble a double a bubble all the way along to the end the last stitch is a double and you'll have 11 bubbles and 23 stitches okay are you still with me right let me if I pull that this way then hopefully you'll be able to see where I'm going okay so we're doing a double first and then we're doing a bubble into this next stitch so yarn round the hook under the V pull through yarn over and pull through two okay you're then going to go yarn around the hook you're going in the same space oh yarn over pull through you've actually got four loops on your hook you're going to go yarn round and you're pulling through two so each time you're doing like half of the treble so you've currently got three loops on your hook yarn round underneath pull through you've got five loops that's the third one we've done pull through two this is the last one yarn round underneath yarn round pull through and pull through two so you've done it four times you will have five loops on your hook one two three four five so yarn over and you're going to pull through all five loops and then into the next stitch you're going to do a double crochet and then you'll see on the back of your work so facing away from you is your first little bubble So we're going to do that again so each time you are doing like half of the treble so yarn around the hook underneath pull through you've got three loops on your hook pull through two yarn around the hook in the same stitch pull through you've got four loops you pull through the first two three loops on your hook that's twice three times Ooh, make sure you're going in the right hole four times you've got five loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all five 
then do a double crochet into the next one now when you are pulling when you're doing your double crochet pull it fairly tight and then it just secures that bubble in place okay so that's two bubbles so I'm going to do a couple more just to just to reinforce it um, when you're doing the bubbles try and keep your yarn fairly loose on your hook so the yarn should kind of slide around if you have to yank it to pull it that's not very good okay so yarn round pull through two yarn round you're going through the same stitch yarn round pull through pull through the first two stitches get a bit more yarn in again whoa pull through two pull through two and you've got five loops on your hook now look how loose they are they are really loose and then yarn around and then pull through all five loops and you're going to do a double crochet okay so I am going to carry on along this row um, if you are watching me live and doing the same if you've got any questions then type them in and I will hopefully answer those questions in a second and I'm sorry I haven't got speedy <laughs> speedy vision um, but hopefully I can get through this quite quickly because then I need to show you the next rows but bubbles are just so much fun they make really decorative embellishments you can you know just put a row of bubbles at the um, beginning and end of a scarf for instance and um, they look really nice made into patterns if you go on to the inspiring ink in crafting corner I know um, Rosie who's said hello today she's done lots of different crochet with using different bubbles to make words and i've seen uh, snowflakes and all sorts of stuff it's really good and it's one of those things that once you work out how to do it you can just pop them on everything and it is it is really really straightforward you're just you're just not completing the trebles so you're just pulling the yarn through the first two stitches and you're just going into that stitch four times to make a treble but you're just not finishing it off and then you're finishing it off at the end and just make sure that the last one you've got five stitches on your hook and you will be fine nearly there turn this over so you can see and they're all really neat and the same size and they're all together in a nice little row and that's the the double crochet that is um, between them is what kind of keeps them all snug together right I've got about three more to do I think so pull through two 
start another treble, pull through two, each time you're going in the same hole. Got five loops on the hook, and then another double. And again, for my North American friends, you're putting a single crochet. Yeah, you're putting a single crochet in between in the middle and you're doing part double crochet. Right. Five loops, pull through. And if so if here look, these are all quite loose, and this one's still this one's a bit tight, and when I try and pull pull through it doesn't quite go so just grab hold of that stitch and just pull it down a little bit and then it'll just slide through there like that okay so I've got my last stitch or my last bobble should I say Now, when you've done your last bubble, you might be looking here and thinking, well, I've finished. Well, you haven't because this is actually a stitch at the end. So make sure you do a double crochet after your last bubble. As otherwise, you will not have enough stitches. So let's flip this around to show you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bubbles should be twenty three stitches. When you get to the end, and you chain one and turn. Okay, so that is a row of bubbles completed. Then we're going to do probably my favourite stitch, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do half trebles. So a quick recap of a half treble, yarn round the hook, and then you've got to look carefully. So when you're looking at the top of this bobble row, that is my chain one, which we don't count. You've got a really, I'm going to bring it up really close so you can see. You've got a really little stitch just there in between my fingers. And then you've got an enormous stitch there, look. And that's the stitch that goes with the bobble. And then a little stitch, an enormous stitch. So just kind of wiggle this around so you can actually see the top of the row. So, there's my first little stitch, so yarn round the hook, underneath, yarn round, we've got three loops on your hook, yarn round and pull through. So we are doing a whole row of half trebles in between uh, rows of bobbles. And it just, it just gives you some definition. So I'm going to get to the end of the row and show you the completed scarf so you can actually see. Right, so what's Sheridan saying? Right, so Sheridan's asking about setting aside for the fringe. Right, Sheridan, so you actually need about five to eight metres if you want to do a fringe in the same colour. So, um, yeah, so lots. Because <laughs> I think I've, I've put like two metres and I would say five to eight metres. Um, yeah, so quite a lot. Which is like 15 yards. It's a lot. 
No, 15 feet even. So what, I, what I'm going to do, for those of you that have taken off the smaller amount, is we're just going to do, we, if you want to do a fringe, we're just going to do a blended fringe with different, different colours. So it's fine. Um, we can do that. So I'm just half trebling all the way across. And let me just show you again. Look, can you see? That looks you've got all these stitches here and you just have to wiggle it around so you can see the top of the bubble the scarf will also look um great sheridan if you use the other the color at the other end anyway so that's another option So is anyone bobbling at the same time as me right now or are you waiting until I've finished? <laughs> Make sure that you do that very last stitch. And then quick count of your stitches. So again, pull it around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So we're gonna chain one and turn. So that is a row of bubbles and a half treble, a row of half trebles. So you can see on this one, what we're actually doing is we've got three rows of bubbles. Okay, so you've got a row of bubbles a row of half trebles a row of bubbles a row of half, half trebles a row of bubbles and then a row of half trebles okay so obviously you're going to carry on to do these but i need to now teach you this stitch okay so uh, again, this is this is the lemon peel, and you know some of you we were talking about um, your edges being a bit wonky. See, my edges aren't aren't straight completely. They are a bit wibbly. Okay, so lemon peel stitch. So again, you've got on this um, downloadable PDF, you've got lots and lots and lots of little tick boxes, all the way up to row 88, okay. So, um, lemon peel is a two row pattern repeat which basically means we do one row and then we do a second row and then we repeat it. Now you'll find this with a lot of crochet patterns in order to get a particular uh, pattern or texture, you will have so many um, rows pattern repeats. So I thought this was a really good one to show you how to do to get you used to doing a pattern repeat but also to show you that it it is quite straightforward so the pattern repeat is double crochet treble crochet all the way along one row 
and the next row is treble crochet, double crochet and repeat that all the way along the row. So basically you're doing a stitch alternately. So let me pull this round and do this. So the first row is a double crochet. Did I do my chain one? Yeah, I did. Okay, so the first row, we start with a double crochet. And if you're following along with me, you can do like these next two rows and then just pull it out. <laughs> because obviously, unless you're really speedy and you can get two rows of half trebles and two rows of bobbles done in the, in the bean time. Oh, Pat's saying it's similar to moss stitch in knitting. Yes, Pat, it is. And I think, you know, there are lots of um, similarities between crochet and knitting. And for me, I love to knit. I've, I've, I've I learned how to knit quite young. Um, my my nanny, nanny Baker was, uh, was a knitter and my mum knits too. So um, I learned how to knit quite early on, but I would always drop stitches. And that's the thing that I love about crochet. I've only ever got one stitch to worry about. And what would happen is I would, crochet, I would knit something and then I'd find I had a hole right down here somewhere and then it's just so disheartening to have to pull it out and then try and get all your stitches back. So yeah, that's why I love crochet. So we are doing a double crochet first so that your hook is going under your V, yarn round the hook, pull through and pull through two. Then we're going to do a treble. So yarn round, um, under the V, yarn around the hook, you've got three loops on your hook, yarn around the hook, pull through two, yarn around the hook, pull through two. And then you're just going to carry on, keep repeating that all the way across. So double, yarn around the hook, pull through two, treble, yarn around the hook, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and then a double, yarn round the hook, treble, Ooh, double, treble, and I'm going to show you how you can tell where you are. Now, pull through two, pull through two. So let's just put this flat. And you can see the stitches look different. Let me just pull that out. So can you see that stitch there has got three little loops and that stitch there has got two little loops. So that's a treble, that's a double. So if, as you go through, ooh, yeah, treble, double. You can you can you can see the difference. Oh, my iPad's just died. <laughs> oh dear. Am I still live? Oh, let's just. Um, if I am still live, can you <laughs> can you let me know, please? Don't know what's happening. Right. 
ね。でいい。はあ。If you are here, thank you. I have lost myself completely. So I thank you for your patience. If you're watching this on the replay, you're probably going to be going, what is she doing? Um, so let's see. Let's see. Okay. So Judah's saying she's really enjoying it. Sue's saying she can still see and hear me. I'm live. I'm live. I'm live. Yes. Okay. Right. So basically a treble stitch is bigger than a double stitch that's what i'm kind of trying to say and if if you try and count you it might confuse you all the more so yeah so a double is littler than a treble now i would always say go to the end of a row before you put your work down don't stop in the middle of a row but if you have a dog like mine who needs your attention or a husband who doesn't realize you're counting <laughs> and comes to talk to you and you're going seven eight anyway so you lose count then um, you can go back to it and go okay so I know what I did so that's a double and that's a treble so I must be doing a double next <laughs> Janet says, I'm still live and kicking. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, live and kicking and wobbly. Right. Okay. So, so I've just done a treble. So I'm doing a double. Treble. And, you know, it is okay to say this out loud. <laughs> As you're going. Double. You'll, you will get to a point where it just makes sense and you'll just keep doing it without actually thinking about it. But you know I've given you these little tick boxes so you don't have to worry. You will know where you are at at the end. And basically, because we have an odd number of stitches, you will always start and finish on the same type of stitch. Okay, so treble. Ooh, look what's happened there. Hang on. There is a possibility I've messed up part way along my row because I was chatting. Hang on. Let's have a look. So that was a treble. So where am I where's my stitch count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-twenty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-twenty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-twenty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two,
Sheridan, you are not a pain. I will show you. Um, so what Sheridan's asking is, am I going under the V or through the top of it? And it's, it's kind of the same. So when you look at the stitches, be careful because it kind of curls over. So you have to kind of roll it so you can see the Vs and your hook goes under the two parts of the V. So hopefully the camera's actually picking that up. So the hook goes actually under the two parts of the V. So can you see that hole that I've made there now? So it goes there, so it goes under the V, but if you're looking at it from the top, yeah, you're going under the V. Like that. So definitely, Sheridan, go back and watch the other two videos. So the one that I did last Tuesday and the one that I did last Thursday, just to help you with the basic stitches. So chain one and turn the work. So make sure to tick your box. So otherwise you'll end up doing lots more rows than you didn't mean to have. So the row two of the lemon peel starts with the treble. So yarn round the hook. Pull through two, pull through two, and then we're going to do a double, and then a treble. Now, for those of you that have got this mandala yarn, same as mine, yeah, this lime brown mandala, um, you might notice as you're um, crocheting that it goes thick and thin. And it is designed to do that. It's a roving style yarn. Um, it's my favourite kind of yarn because I love the texture of it. Um, and it, it will also occasionally have different coloured flecks in it as well. And it's, it's, just, it's just the style of the yarn. Um, there's probably a technical explanation of roving yarn i think it's it's something to do with the twists but there you go there's there's a really um good <laughs> good good explanation so look can you see it's the same yarn but this is fluffy and this is much tighter and um, if you kind of untwist it it's like several strands that are all woven together. I love it. It's a really nice, it's a really nice acrylic yarn. I tend um, to use a lot of natural yarn as well. Um, but certainly when you're starting out, acrylic yarn is much, um, much easier to get hold of. Um, and also it washes well and so on. So, um, and I, I do find that yarn is very much a personal taste. I like yarns that have got merino in them, um, which I find really soft, but some people find anything with any kind of wool really kind of itchy and scratchy. So, yeah, there you go. Right, so where am I at? I don't know. I'm chatting so much. Right, so treble, double, treble, double, treble. Ooh. And this is a bit more of a thinking <laughs> section, I think, because 
because you're changing stitch every time and you kind of get into a rhythm and you think oh yes yarn around my hook oh no I'm doing a double I don't want the yarn around my hook Now, once um, we've completed these types of stitches, then um, the the scarf we are going to um, kind of be mirroring it. Um, we've we've got a little bit. We've got quite a lot to go, a lot further to go yet. But we will kind of mirror the um, end of the scarf so um, once once you've got these stitches you will be good to go right so double and then you might think you get to that point you might think oh well yeah I'm done now well the first thing is you know that you started on a treble so you finish on a treble but actually here there that is your last stitch on the end so if you're not sure count your stitches because this is how you lose stitches and gain stitches by ignoring the ones on the end or counting them twice okay so we don't want to do that so let's just count again one two three four five Twenty-two, twenty-three. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Let me just check this. Double trouble. Yeah. Phew. Okay. I'm right. So let me take that one off. So then you are just going to continue with that pattern. So I'm going to bring in this one to show you that the way that stitch carries on. And it's the texture of it is just so lovely. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it, it makes this really cool pattern. Um, and it is kind of dimpled like lemon peel, I guess. Um, I did talk about this last week. Um, if you've got a colour changing yarn and you don't want things like this where you've got like part of a row in a different colour, you can snip your yarn off and join it at the end um, and then all that will happen let me just put my stitch marker in that so I don't unravel it um, so all that will happen is you'll end up with little end bits of yarn and what you're going to do with those hi Angela thanks for joining in um, is you are just going to weave this now I know that so the bubbles are on this side so I'm going to work on the back and you're just going to weave in and out of your stitches and I'm weaving in and out of four or five to four or five stitches and then I pull it pull it back and then I go back the other way like that and then I sort of pull it up in all directions and then I don't have scissors here but I would then just pull that and just snip it off and this is a an absolute top tip for 
any other crochet which is always 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 <laughs> sew your ends as you're going along um oh, yeah always sew your ends as you're going along because if you leave it until um if you leave it until the end so for instance if you're making a blanket and you've got a color changing blanket and you have i don't know 15 colors and you change it every change the color every two or three rows you can end up with hundreds of ends and if you then start sewing them in if you don't sew them in as you go along and you do it all at the end it takes hours and hours and hours and it's miserable <laughs> and yeah you just don't want to do that you absolutely need to sew your ends in as you go okay so i have shown you the two new stitches so you've got bobbles and lemon peel does anybody have any questions before i finish up for today Anything that you need me to show you again? Um, so like I said, the patterns are going to be up a little bit later this afternoon. You're doing a row of bobbles, a row of half trebles, and you're going to do that three times. And then the rest of the rows are going to be lemon peel. So, no questions? <laughs> I'm looking at my screen and hoping that I haven't frozen and that you are all, ah, there's a message, that's good. Sue's saying thank you for this section. You're welcome. How are your bobbles looking? Those of you that are trying right now, how are your bobbles looking? You're all busy crocheting, I can tell, because you're not replying. <laughs> right, well, it doesn't look like I have got any more questions. Nicola's saying, great. Sue's saying she's happy with the bubbles. Awesome. That's good. <laughs> Scylla's saying it's going to keep her busy for a while and she's very bubbly. <laughs> Amanda, Amanda did her ironing but enjoyed the crochet talking at the same time. That's good. Oh, right. That's a really good question, Gordy. Gordy said, if you want to make it wider, how do you decide how many chain stitches to start with? So, my stitch count is 23. So, you, need, you just need an odd number. Um, I think, yes, because, t -t 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 -t. so this is a, yeah, an odd number. This is an odd number. So yeah, you should be okay just with an odd number. Um, if you want it, how much wider did you want it, Gordy? Um, cause if you want it twice the width, then just do double. But an odd number will work. Yeah. Yes, I had to think about that then. So 
yes because every yeah everything's an odd number so you'll be fine with an odd number so but when you're doing your chain um do your chain the right width and then make sure you've got an odd number and the first row so let's go back to this okay so when we started Gordy, we started with a chain of 24. So you start with one stitch more than the chain that you're going to have. So start with an even number, but then when you do your first stitch, you go into the second chain from the hook. So it's that sentence there, second chain from the hook. So you start, so the, this scarf starts with 24, you end up with 23. So start with an even number and then second chain from the hook. Hope that makes sense, Gordy. Um, Janet's saying her bubbles are lovely, yay! And the lemon peel's really pretty. Yeah, it is such a lovely stitch. And it's, it's one of those one of those stitches that it, it feels really really nice and warm oh she's going to gordy's thinking about making a baby blanket oh that'd be so cool so cool awesome right and chris is saying that her bubbles are done as well fantastic okay well i am going to love you and leave you I have a few things to do when I get finished here, but the pattern um, will be up in the next couple of hours. And obviously you can watch the replay here on Facebook and then this replay will be also on YouTube and on my blog as well. Do subscribe to all of my channels so you get notifications and I will see you all again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.